four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranchin here, Pencil Cup Commentary. This is going to be the second set between Flash and Fantasy in the Big File MSL Semi Finals. This is going to be on triathlon at the 8 o'clock position. Playing yellow, Terran, of course, is our resident homeboy Flash. That also happens to be a Terminator and a machine and not really all that human. The 4 o'clock position we have in brown, of course, Terran as well. Fantasy. And uh, among these two guys in this matchup, I would assume by most people, he is a underdog here. Um, definitely not a too big one, though. If, if Of all turn players out there, if somebody can take out Flash in a TBT, Fantasy is definitely up there, if not the most up there. Of all the players right now playing StarCraft in a TBT, I think Fantasy definitely ranks, probably ranks the highest that can take flash out right now because he's playing hot he's playing well he's playing clutch um, despite not the best performance in the OSL ever he meanwhile just seems like he really wants to get through in the MSL and getting himself uh, beating, beating flash here would be a huge huge upset I believe um, it could ruin the dreams of many for yet enough for the third <laughs> consecutive flash versus Jadong final in a row. Of course, uh, the fact that Jadong would be in a final is not at all a guarantee. He still has light to face off, uh, but I think it, in that matchup it's a little bit easier. In the second semifinal, it's a little easier to call a favorite. So, I'm going to see what it go what it happens here. Flash going to start off by walling himself off with a supply depot and a barracks. Uh, didn't see Fantasy putting down any barracks yet, so we're going to see he might go for a safe expansion on the second. This is, of course, triathlon. You got that base, uh, those bases beyond eggs. You got that secondary inside of your own base that gives you an easy expansion. Seems like actually Fantasy instead going to expand straight into the natural so he can pick up a base safer on. Just going to set up a defensive posture for himself at the moment. And Flash not putting his refinery, so it seems like he's going to go for one Rax into Expo himself. Uh, completely different play from what we saw in Polaris Rhapsody and uh, really interested in what exactly they're going to go for. Flash going to expand into his secondary right here, going to put down that safe expo. Not too far behind Fantasy actually and meanwhile going to be able to defend his front fairly well. Meanwhile on the opposite side do see the Barracks coming down natural expansion from Fantasy. Uh, this means he's going to be able to take his third rather safely. Uh, he's he's, he's going to face uh, the danger it offers that he might face some early pressure at the front, but I don't really think that's going to happen because the ba uh, the builds aren't that too far off. I think Fantasy is going to be able to set up defenses fast enough to counteract any possible early pressure from Flash, which doesn't seem like he's gonna, it's going to be coming. I think actually Flash instead might be thinking of uh, double expanding very quickly, just get, take that secondary down, then quickly transition into taking the natural expansion alongside as he takes towards Factory. Both players have their refineries up and mining at the moment, so... We're going to be seeing how Fantasy, how quickly Fantasy decides to put down his own secondary. Whether he's going to try to do that right away, or we'll try to work on some tech, try to get some uh, troops out to try to take map position before he tries to pick up a third base. Although now that Flash was a little bit behind with his with his own expansion, I definitely think that he's going to want to expand faster than Fantasy does. Is putting up his factories. Are going to be seeing those up for both players very soon. And meanwhile, Fantasy with only one Marine is not going to be able to prevent that SV from getting inside of his base. Well, on the opposite side, Fantasy actually didn't get an SCV inside of Flash's base, so he just knows that Flash is not putting down his, uh, not putting down the expo. Meanwhile, now the S SCV also going to be able to get inside the secondary spot out. There's new new base there, nothing happening, and Fantasy not managing to at all sneak inside of Flash's base. He's going to want to get an academy out there or something to give him uh, spotting throughout the map. We're going to see exactly what it's going to go. Oh, clutch! Nice SCV getting past two Marines just as the barracks were floated. I was very surprised by that float from uh, from Flash there. Don't really understand why he decided to do that. I think he was trying to move out with his Marines and maybe didn't see the SCV there or something. Oh, I think he should have uh, spotted the SCV, but nice sneak there by Fantasy getting inside of Flash's base. On the opposite side, we're going to see Fantasy actually put down two starports. Flash put down one, two starports of his own. Oh, man, this is oh, interesting stuff coming up. So it looks like we're going to be seeing some heavy Wraith action from both these guys. And, of course, uh, Triathlon is a map that allows its, uh, really allows its wolf to some aerial play. So not at all uh, actually surprised that both these guys decided to go for some 
for some Wraith action. Academy also on the way, and a Machine Shop down there for, uh, for Fantasy as well. So he's also getting himself ready for possible... Uh, yeah, both of those getting down Academy, so both getting himself ready for possible for the possible need of Comset Stations to counteract those pesky pesky wraiths. Flash finally going to lose his CV, so if, you, so if Fantasy wants to put down his secondary, you might want to do that now. Got to work on his control towers, he gets his machine shop going. And Flash a little bit behind on the tech and the academy, but still not in bad position. Going to get that first wraith out there, has a tank out there as well, going to be working on siege mode. Most likely, as the game goes on. <coughs> Sorry, I'm yeah, losing myself, needing to swallow air. So your consultation is being rushed in. Don't see a second consultation. Don't see any consultation yet for Flash. So that would ex be explained by the fact that there's no academy up there yet. RBC and Cloak being worked off by both players. So we're going to be seeing some Cloaked Wraith action for both of these guys. And that's going to be micro. That's going to be right there. It's going to be who's going to be able to go out there, do the micro, do the thing, be the aggressor. Who manages to eradicate the other guy's fleet with, while keeping himself and basically leaving the other guy op open to some serious attack. So we're going to see exactly how that goes. Uh, the lower left that secondary flashes is rather vulnerable to aerial uh, to any aerial assaults. Very, very, very crucial scan there by Flash right on top of the starports. Didn't actually th don't think he had a scan on that earlier, but uh, I think actually Fantasy did spot that with SCV the starports as they were put up. Both players are going to be going for some heavy wraith action and really interested how game didn't quite start off the same but follow up with exactly the same thing from both players, kind of like the other game with the, uh, in the first set, both these guys went for pretty much the exact same thing, except this time the starts were different, but and uh, the bases that were put down are significantly different, but otherwise it's very, pretty much the same. Uh, Armory is also being put up. I'm wondering whether these are for actually air upgrades or whether they're for Goliaths to have some uh, ground army defense against these wraiths. Might be seeing some Goliaths coming into into play very soon, and we're going to be seeing whether I'm being proven right or wrong. Hey, yep, Flash uh, expanding faster than Fantasy, as I assumed he would. Going a little bit behind on his secondary, definitely wants to get his third base out there sooner than Fantasy gets his. Both these players just kind of keeping their rates inside of the bases, and as they're not really doing too much other than putting Flash putting on his eBay. Don't see the same. For fantasy, so Flash gonna want some static turret action to help himself defend himself as well. And I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. Uh, just the other day, actually, well, actually not really the other day, but but uh, for the first time, experienced white tea. So that's kind of cool. And fantasy is sending it out an SCV to the upper right in position, the position that's protected by X. Kind of trying to maybe hide a base there. It's uh, maybe a pseudo hidden position, not exactly quite hidden. Both players moving out across now. Some tanks on the ground, some marines as well. And Fantasy Mino has gone and cloaked a wraith and just kind of gotten himself a scout all across. Has his own wraiths coming into play. Gonna catch one marine out in the open. And Flash also, you know, has a Goliath on the ground. So it gives him just a little bit of extra firepower against those wraiths in the air. Getting yet another scan off. Gonna spot the second factory being put down. And upgrades on the way. While well, Fantasy does try to hide a base at that upper right hand that's protected by X. So ground forces are not gonna have an easy time. Um, getting to that, but if the Wraith spot that base, that's actually going to be very easy for Flash to take out. Valkyrie out there for Fantasy. Fantasy showing his unique flair and style rather than go for Goliath on the ground. Instead, just going to go for Valkyries and just going to try to scan and get a massive amount of fire in one shot on those Wraiths, kind of hoping to take air superiority with the help of a Valkyrie. Valkyrie is also going to be vulnerable because it's, of course, not cloaked and uh, can be easily taken down by Goliaths if they're not careful with it. So we're going to see exactly how this uh, thing evolves. Do still see the factory out there for fan uh, third factory being put out there for Fantasy. Mo kind of tried to move across the map a little bit with his tanks, but doesn't seem like he's going to push that. Has a larger tank number than Flash at the moment, it seems. At the very least, moving across the map. Still is going to be able to safely put up his upper right hand without being threatened. Going to see job. Going to try to get a siege tank shot uh, on those. Gets only one shot on the Goliath, thanks to the Marine while losing it. On the opposite side, do see fourth and fifth factory being put down by Flash. So it doesn't seem like he's gonna. Uh, didn't quite see whether he's continuing Wraith production or not. On the opposite side, we do see constant co uh, continuous production of Wraiths and maybe even more Valkyries. Not quite sure if he's gonna stick to one and go for some more. Of course, the Valkyrie is a rather large investment. Uh, and as he instantly puts down the refinery as he finishes. Now, oh man, gonna be threatened. Gonna lose his uh, frontal tank. 
and they're gonna scan and move his old race, but Flash way on top of that, moving back, just taking out an additional uh, little tank there, just trying to get himself a nice position. Sivimi will moving out across the map, and Flash now gonna hide a base at the 12 o'clock main. Well, finally says it actually gets a bunch of his SCVs towards his new base here. So Flash is trying to out-expand Fantasy here. Gonna already gonna start working on his fourth base, and this is very interesting play. Both these players just trying to control the skies with the race, try to expand on the ground as they do so. Uh, keep themselves open and hoping that with their additional maneuverability they're going to be able to constantly expand on the ground and be able to defend those bases. Still not that many factories out there for Fantasy. Flash definitely outnumbers them in, fa in that way, but Fantasy might want to try to... Uh, when an if an opportunity prevents himself, definitely try to take out those Wraiths, but they are being protected by a lot of Goliaths on the ground, so you want to be careful with them. Still flying around, still haven't spotted that 2 o'clock position. If, uh, if Fantasy gets that spotted and gets it attacked, He's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Even the uh, just Flash's Wraith number could do a significant amount, of significant amount of damage. He's also picking up his fourth right now at the secondary. So at the very least, Fantasy playing base for base right now. Flash has weapons one upgrades at this point on his ground forces. Not the same for Fantasy. He hasn't really started working on any of his upgrades. Wondering if he might have actually come for some Air Force upgrades. Although uh, I'm not quite sure on that. If he didn't, if he should have gone for Air Force upgrades, mean he means he's kind of revealing his... Uh, maybe future plan to maybe transition into into battle cruisers. Flash can expand at six o'clock, so he's definitely spreading himself out a little bit. But he's hoping to keep control. He's hoping that hey, uh, I'll be able to support with race at the very least, if nothing else. And Fantasy also going to start working on some turret action to help defend his new uh, new bases because he won't be able to maybe re reinforce the time he needs. And Flash, if he spots a token position, he might be able to break the eggs thanks to tanks. Fantasy d does have some forces forces here at the south, but he's facing. Some ta some tanks on, of his own, or rather of his own opponent's face. And actually at 6 o'clock position, I think it's actually Fantasy. thought it was Flash taking up the 6 o'clock position, but it seems like it's actually Fantasy trying to get ahead, trying to take the entire right, s right and south side of the map. We might see Flash transition towards the uh, northwest. So we might be seeing him take the 11 o'clock as the game goes on. Both players, obviously...